I grew up in a stable home, but got a good chance to be naughty. When I went to high school, I discovered girls. And within five years, I had more than 15 partners. In 1982, I had more than seven girlfriends all at once. I realized that I was using women to sponsor all my needs. Anything I wanted, I had some woman to scratch my back. I discovered I was nothing more than a gigolo, playing games to get what I want and hurting all these women in the process, giving them false hopes and dreams of a life with me eternally with absolutely no such intention. The general requests for lasting, everlasting love gradually started to bother me. Are women more than just mere sex objects? The message to be Prince Charming was deafening. I witnessed a friend day draping a drunken colleague and almost involved myself in that. But something turned in my stomach. The questions of why or how she deserved that kind of treatment was very loud and disturbing. There must be more to life than treat women like this. I was celibate for a year or so. In the next relationships, I found myself yearning for much more than the usual. I wanted emotional and spiritual bonding and partnership. Gradually, I discovered a sensitive man inside of me who wanted commitment, loyalty, faithfulness, honesty in a relationship. The absence of these qualities would bother me a lot. In the past 20 years, four particular relationships with women played a major role in honing and molding and shaping me into the man I was when I met my wife. This relationship actually prepared me to surrender to love wholesomely at last. It has been 26 years since the last time I deliberately heard a woman's feelings crushed her dreams or used her for my own desires. Participating in group counseling sessions in the early 90s led to a path of counseling and encouraging others to find that elusive nirvana we all seek through love. Today, my wife is my equal, my best friend, companion in life, mentor, drinking buddy, dancing partner, business associate, playmate, gossip companion, parenting comrade, advisor, the rock to lean on. I'm having so much fun. I even took her name when we married. <laughs>